Good morning, Googie. Good morning, Daddy. How are you? Good. How'd you sleep? Good. Did you have any dreams? No. Just black? Are you ready for a morning routine? No. No? No. Okay. It's that kind of day again. What do you think we should do today? Play back. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, looks like it's calmed me down for a minute. We'll see you in a little while. Back in my day, we used to do a lot of card, flash card, memory games and stuff like that with my family on my mom. But it looks like the kids are really doing well with their memory games through the Pokemon battles. I, I don't think they're memory games, so I don't have to match Pokemon and stuff because I don't have two of me. Yeah. Persian and Mew. There's I mean, from a learning standpoint, the things that you oh. learn here, the attacks, types, Abigail is learning names, and Raphael is able to read everything, and they make sense now that they're fighting each other. Some of Raphael's favorite kitties, Mew, Meowth, and Persian. And I also have a very strong Dynamax Tonics. I didn't Dynamax Mew because it's too strong when it's Dynamax. Yeah, that's too much information for me. Um, actually, now that it's... Um, I just thought about this. Can you play with us today, please? Can you play with me with Pokemon, please? Yeah. Okay. Hold on just a minute. It's raining outside. One sec. Almost forgot that I let her in, but I let her in a couple of hours ago when it was sprinkling. And uh, I, I, just, I just had to look real quick and make sure she's not outside. But yeah, how are you enjoying your time there, Abigail, with the cards? You're putting them at sleep? Uh huh. Are they. Uh, did you stack them up by type? Why, how are they stacked up? Good. I have another Yelf. I have a Meow Fluffy Yelf. Please give it to me. Thank you. Is Raphael keeping all the cats? Yeah. Yeah. I have a Pikachu. What about those right here? Abigail, you have some mine. I mean, I'm sure you both have a lot. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. In the coziness of our home. Yeah. We're focused on food now. Playing, studying, food. Making the same food that I made kind yesterday. Of, kind of. I think it's something good to go into the Mediterranean diet. And I guess it's called the anti inflammatory diet as well, or it kind of leans towards it. Uh, but in reality, in Mediterranean diets, usually you eat a lot of bread that they don't advertise that you do and a lot of other things as well like the actual Mediterranean diet but the Mediterranean style diet is pretty healthy so a lot of healthy fats loads of salads all sorts of salads with uh, seeds in it and oil a bunch of vegetables sometimes fruit you have fish and I think we have most if not all of those for uh, for our daily diet to eat so Hopefully we can stick to that a little bit. Not officially or specifically just that. It's just so happens, you know? So we are kind of kind of having the same dinner again. Or meal. So it's just fish and mashed potatoes. Maybe one other thing of salad, uh, vegetable. This fish shrank so much. It was twice the size. Now I don't think I have enough. Yeah, you asked me, you want all of that? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, it's late at night. Pretty sure the kids are already asleep. I just put them to bed. Andrea put her to bed too. It's been a long day. The days are getting longer and longer. The more we stay home, the more it rains outside, the more we stay home, the more we stay home, the more cabin feverish we get. And the days get longer. Things seem repetitive. It feels like we get up and we do the same thing over and over again and then get up and do the same thing over and over again. And it's a feeling that I can probably shake off myself. Hello there. But I have to say it's much easier to do when you're on your own. It might also be more depressing when you're on your own dealing with this and doing the same thing over and over again. Um, I'm not sure if you guys work from home or not, but for me at least, having a routine, you know, getting up really early it is what it is. Getting on a bus with the same people every day. 
drinking your coffee at the same time every day, getting to start to work, <laughs> like that schedule, as mundane as it is, and as grinding as it is, and eroding, it still glues your day together. And so you get to enjoy these little things. You get home and you get your meals, then time with kids and whatnot. For me personally now, it's changed greatly. Especially with Raphael being here, I have to help him and be with him 24-7 pretty much. It's very hard. We have kind of the same mentality that we've always had with the kids. Andrea used to execute it extremely well. And I hope that I am helping enough. Uh, mainly with the schoolwork for Raphael. She is a really good teacher, so I think she does much better than I do with Abigail. We're one laying one break at a time in Abigail's progression for speech and for understanding numbers and memory. And she can count to ten now without going one, two, five, eight, twenty-nine, sixty-seven. She can go one through ten just fine. So that's one thing I wanted to touch on real quick since we do get asked this a lot and you guys don't really see the grind. So if you used to see the grind in Andrea's face dealing with the kids when they were younger on her own, now it kind of, it didn't dissipate, right? It doesn't get worse, but it gets different. As you have to work from home and spend time with your spouse as well and where is date night? Where do you get that at? And where do you get intimacy and being in the other room when you have kids 24-7 here with you. And it's just, it's all a very sensitive area, but I think we're doing well with it, to be quite honest. Um, don't feel like we have, I don't think we get on each other's nerves enough to have a meltdown that the kids, us, and we just kind of, kind of groove through it. And I think that one of the things that's really set me back before and I get asked this a lot, so I'll elaborate. It's my hobby. So if you guys have been watching us since 2018 and on, you definitely noticed that bike riding, mountain biking, it became one of my fundamental hobbies. One of the things I like doing most, I always like riding bikes, from when I got to mountain bike with my friends and got in shape and whatnot. Fitness-wise, the best I've ever been in shape without trying. That was just for fun. Funsies, you know, 71 kilometers, go up a mountain, come back home, why not? And rain too. And I've been missing it a lot here. We do have one good park, and there's the exercise park where I just go and ride for 20 miles, 10 miles back, 10 miles forth, just, you know, same grind back and forth. Not really interactive. But the thing I'm trying to get to is, I've been missing something critical that made my life very easy in Israel, and here it's just a complete pain in the butt. It's completely... it. I don't want to go bike ride because of this. And the thing is, it's just a bike rack. We don't have a bike rack here. Before we got here, I had a very cheap version that I got for free from uh, Yakima, I believe. And what it was, is just a bike rack for three bikes. And one of our vlogs, when we went out to a reservation, we had, I think, four bikes three or four bikes hanging on that rack like on a thread and I said to myself those that bike rack kind of it didn't ruin my bike but you know it scratches it it's not very good for it and it hid my license plate and that wasn't good and I needed to get you know I had to have my own like rig of a license plate which is while it's temporary it's fine not breaking the law of course but here I decided that the one and only bike rack that I want for our car is one that I get to keep forever pretty much. The one that we can get for today and it'll last for tomorrow and 10 years and 20 years from now. And such product exists. There's one one of a kind and it's competitor of course, so two total. Uh, bike racks made of aluminum or different metal composites that are basically they don't ever touch your bike they're just on the wheel and I know this is like boring talk to you guys but it makes all the difference imagine trying to do something that is you love doing but it's such a pain in the ass to get it started and at the end wrap it up as well that you just don't want to do it so I said never mind all that I'll wait as patiently as possible there's a brand coming up with an even better bike rack 
that has solutions to all of the problems that these top bike racks have. And I don't want an $800 bike rack for one bike. No thanks. So there's a different one that I've been really looking to get. I got on a wait list in 2018. I wasn't even here. And I already subscribed to the newsletter. And then last year when we just moved here, they announced a pre-sale. And I'm very happy to say that we finally got into the pre-sale. Already paid for it. It just has to arrive. There's a couple of tweaks I had to do in my uh, checkout and waiting for an email for an answer. But very soon, I should have the bike rack here. And that means that at least me and Raphael, not to not include Andrea and Abigail, but for now, probably me and Raphael for sure, have a bike rack that'll support mine and his. And it'll take like five seconds to put it on and then lock the bikes in 25 seconds total. And it'll be amazing. I can't wait for it. And I think it's going to change our lives to be kind of a little more towards back to normal. I can't even believe I have gone with such little bike rides. Like, I've ridden so little in this last year compared to what I did the year before that my body is still in shape, but I take it easy. So every time I go bike ride, it's now it's like once a month or once every four or five weeks at least, yeah. I just have to take it easy, and I don't really want to do that. And Raphael too, he really wants to bike ride, and I can't wait to have him on the trail again. So that's a first big step towards getting back in shape, full-time fitness, no need for gym. Um, Raphael, me, then Andrea will try to get her a bike too, most likely. And Abigail has hers, so we'll see how we can have everyone bring their bikes and have fun, because Abigail really gets jealous when it's just me and Raphael. And for a good reason, too. We, I want to include her, and Andrea, of course, too. But we'll have to find the right bike for them. That's something that takes me out of the grind, and it kind of lets me look forward to something, like something I've been doing the same thing over and over every single day for, like, months now, and so has my family, and I'll finally have something to look forward to, something different. It's something I, I, I had such a good time at work with this, having something different, like my work schedule... And the type of work that I had to do, like a, as a profession, it stayed the same. But every day there's different faults, different troubleshooting, different new, new things, new briefings, new stuff all the time. And that's what I really look forward to, having something new to do. So uh, this is a rant out. And thank you very much for listening. I had to vent a little bit. We've been getting a lot of comments on the channels asking how are we doing, how are we actually doing, because we don't show our entire day. And I do talk about it back and forth, you know, all the time. It's just, it is what it is. And hopefully very soon it'll stop raining. And also we'll get to do new adventurous things. Because we're all looking forward to it. Even the metal detecting. It's not my thing, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm just waiting to get in the car and go somewhere dry when there's not a lot of uh, bugs and stuff. So yeah, stay tuned and you'll get to see new stuff. And hope this uh, gets here soon. So have a good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sunny and not raining. <laughs> yeah, raining really hard. Y'all need to go get in the shower. Let me take yeah. the shower first. Okay, bye. I Since I cooked eggs, I'll help you cook fish. Kitty knows not to go in that room anymore. That's pretty nice, actually. We've trained her already.